Welcome everybody to the 20th episode of Selling Cars at Grinding Corp Garage and today we have something very special. This is a 1991 Subaru Sambar uh, van and uh, it is in truly amazing condition. Actually it is just simply stunning the condition it is in and the cleanliness that is in and just the cleanliness of everything on this automobile, rubber, paint, it's amazing. Um, if you would look at this uh, just from this angle, um, you would never ever say that this car in four years will be able to uh, use an antique plate here in Florida. I mean, it looks like it's a 2005 or 10, you know, it, it really does. And it is 26 years old and all the glass roofs and the automatics and that opens and closes it and the paint and just the way it looks there's absolutely no way you know everybody ev to everyone I talk to uh, when they approach me when I drive this car they cannot believe that this is 26 years old so we're going to continue our walk around around the car and we'll talk about some um, um, features of this automobile as well as the imperfections um, when I uh, was detailing this automobile I noticed that the front fascia from here to here has been repainted. Um, initially I didn't see it because uh, the paint was, you know, it faded out uh, to all together, um, which means that this was painted a long time ago, you know, it's not a fresh repaint. But I just noticed, you know, that this front fascia has been painted, maybe a stone chip or so. And talking about stone chips, on the front there are no stone chips aside from one little stone chip right here so uh and you know unfortunately i don't have a touch up for this paint i'm sure you can play around with it but i decided to leave it off um then the trim and the bumper is in excellent condition everything shines really good uh and shines new so now we're going to continue to walk around on the side of this automobile and uh, we're going to show you the side there are absolutely no dings no dents um no scratches no imperfection at all and the rubber trim is in excellent condition very good you know it doesn't have any any of that rubber rust you know or rubber corrosion those little spots that you cannot ever get them out out of the rubber so it doesn't have any of that and uh, just the cleanliness you know let's go ahead and zoom in on this part you're gonna see plenty of pictures just the cleanliness of these gaps and of the rubber and in between the rubber is just in excellent condition and you can see that the cleanliness of that metal right there of the roof is just in excellent condition everything is perfect so um, let's go ahead um, continue our walk around and uh, I would just like to show you one little thing here I'm gonna get the key out of the ignition so here's the uh, door filler door and look at that I mean zinc plating zinc plating yellow zinc regular zinc it's just perfect um, and uh, one more time the door jams are in excellent condition. excellent everything is very very clean and as you can see it's just very very good excellent condition so uh, let's go ahead and continue the walk around around the uh, automobile and uh, we'll show you the back of it and we'll continue with a review of the interior slightly later and the paint is very very nice you know it's this kind of orangey burg burgundy with a tiny bit of light burgundy paint it looks really good and it's a metallic paint original paint again just except for the front fascia uh, there is a slight mark right here as we're going to go ahead and show you a uh, very minor mark right here on the paint uh, it almost looks like it's a slight fade but it's been buffed out to the point that you can barely notice it and um, here we go so the stickers are in excellent condition the lights are in really really good shape there is a little bit of a of a fade on the light uh, on both sides a little bit right here 
and on the other light a little bit right here as well so but that's pretty much the only imperfection uh, when it comes to the lights um, then uh, if we continue our walk around and we move towards this side you'll be able to see just how pretty this automobile is it, it really is beautiful and uh, one more time just the cleanliness of everything is really, really good. Stainless is in excellent condition. It rides on brand new Maxxis tires. So they are brand new. I had to replace them because the initial tires were very dry. Uh, stickers are just perfect, you know. They're in mint condition. Um, and then uh, this is going to uh, con conclude our uh, walk around around the automobile. And now we're going to go ahead and show you what's going on inside. All right, so now we're going to show you what's going on up front. And what is going on up front is just a beautiful car. Everything is very clean. The door panels, door cards are in excellent condition. The door panel is in excellent condition. Steering wheel, nowhere. The automobile has uh, 27,000 kilometers, uh, which comes out to be about some 17, 16,000 miles the uh, interior never seen sunlight i was the uh, first person to take off the covers and they are included they're hidden underneath the back seat so i took the covers off because they were faded uh and this is what uh, was awaiting me uh, just a brand new upholstery in absolutely every way all original um super nice seats this combinated um, cloth um, just beautiful, you know, it really is a little bit of velour and says Diaz 2 um, That's the model of the Sambar. It is a uh, automatic transmission or so to say continuously variable transmission CVT and it works really really good um, No scratches on the dash no imperfections everything works Everything works the way it should and uh, let's go ahead and show you a little bit down here. Just just how clean this looks You'll be able to see everything is very clean and the carpet underneath is just perfect condition and the plastic, you know, pedals, and I touched that up a little bit, dirtied up a little bit, but uh, everything is in very, 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 very good shape. Uh, let's show you underneath the dash. You can see one more time just how nice and clean that is and all the zinc plating on the bolts. Everything is very nice and perfect. Speakers work as well. Um, I mean, they don't rattle or anything like that so uh let's show how clean the door jams are right here uh you'll be able to see the stickers original sticker uh and uh, all the zinc plating is everything is intact and the color code 061 um just beautiful you know this automobile is beautiful so uh now we're going to go ahead and move towards the back and uh we'll show you what's going on in the rear Check that out, right? The rear windows, they fold down, and then there is a little child lock, you just push it, and there you go. This bus is made out of glass, you know, the beautiful panoramic roof, sunroof up front, automatic, the glass folds down, and it really is very comfortable, you know. I have armrests. Unlike any other van, or a key van we're talking about, armrest on the back seats, and uh, cup holders never seen the cup holders in uh, Japanese vehicles of that specific era you know they didn't think of that the cup holders or anything like that even the uh, cars like um, Century Toyota Century which is a top VIP or a Land Cruiser 80 which was a top Toyota 4x4 those didn't have cup holders so this one does which is very amazing another interesting feature if you would uh, do this and you want to rest while you sit in the back you can actually lay there we go you can nicely lay down here and just in case if you're waiting for somebody uh, the seats fold flat and it raises up just as easily so uh, I'm going to go ahead and uh, walk around the back uh, walk around the front open this door and We'll show you in detail the interior of this automobile. All right, so uh, 
one more time everything is in excellent condition finish is in excellent condition all the armrests they uh, go up allowing for a comfortable seat seating and for me not being a short guy just notice the leg room i mean totally comfortable you know um drove this van around and the attention that it gets it's just amazing um, and and not only you know you're driving something crappy that gets attention i mean this gets attention in a good way for example you know if you're driving a bentley around you're kind of enemy of the state you know if you're driving this around it's something it, it gets that cute attention you know that good good attention and not only you know the key about of this automobile is getting attention it's just something that comes with it but uh let me show you some more functionalities of this automobile so for example if you need more cargo you fold this and then you fold this forward there's a little lever here on the side oh. and see just like by me sitting on the side i'm missing the front comfortably you lower the seat back and you get uh six feet of cargo space uh, i can actually lay down here flat and i'm not going to be touching the back door with my feet and at the same time i still ride here in comfort um with an armrest and my drinks uh has a rear heater um there's a little, little two vents right there so if you turn on the rear heater the fan comes on and it starts heating up the back um so uh everything is perfect shape i mean the covers you can actually see this little white lines that's the fade that the automobile um i mean it, it kind of set in the carport uh of a gentleman where i got it from and the sun was heating it from this side from the left side was heating it and coming over the carport so that side uh had less uh sun stress than for example this side and then you can see a little bit of a fade on top of the seat um you know but 26 years old and the condition of it i mean you can take it uh to a show or a concourse it's absolutely show show worthy and i mean you'll, you'll most likely get a first place for showing this automobile all right so uh just like that there's a small lever here very easy so uh this is going to continue our uh, review of the back seat and uh we're going to go ahead and move towards the uh cargo area and we'll show you what's going on out there all right so uh very easy operation just pull the handle and it opens up uh so everything is in very very good shape for example right here on the back seat there is a tiny little scratch and a little bit of some kind of a glue you know i did not really want to try to peel this glue off because you're gonna try to peel this little tiny drop of glue off and uh i'm gonna break the vinyl so i didn't want to or you can discolor it or damage it in some kind of way and i really didn't want to try go ahead take my chances on that so i skipped it uh one more thing um uh, just like right here uh same thing there's a some kind of a drop of glue there i'm sure if you rub it with your finger on it but i tried and you know didn't really succeed so i left it alone just not to tear the vinyl or again you use some kind of a harsh solvent and uh, you're just going to go ahead and you know you're gonna damage the vinyl don't have to reupholster it however it's very easy you know if you want to reupholster it and you don't like that it's just i don't know 30 minute job i know all right so uh it's not much to show uh one more time the seats fold flat both seats gives you plenty of room you can lay flat here and uh i totally forgot uh about another cool interesting feature but we're going to show you after we walk around on this side let's go ahead and show the motor the original motor is right here right underneath this cover um i mean new condition um the engine you will see in the pictures it looks really really good um one more thing uh okay what else to show okay here we go uh it almost looks like somebody tried to glue this little piece in here and you know doesn't really look too good but that's the only imperfection um uh, that's you know whatever i show this that's pretty much it so let's go ahead and open this up on the earlier models it didn't have a safety feature if you would pull the latch it'll just drop and bend the um 
the support levers or you know we'll drop you on the knee on this one it doesn't and then you pull it back and then you lower it and there you go so uh, let's check the wires and they are Fujikita and usually there is a year on them but this right here I don't see the year so you know, well I washed the engine a little bit and as you can see everything is extremely nice good looking condition let's go ahead and open this up it runs really really good and uh, just look into that I mean it's nice and clean this is nice and clean fresh it runs good uh, talking about this engine and the key automobiles or K automobiles in general uh, the only truck that comes of that era with a four-cylinder motor 660 is the Subaru uh, the Suzuki uh, is the engine up front it's a three-cylinder the Honda has it in the middle uh, and Subaru has it in the back it's a uh, flat four I mean it's not a flat four it's a four-cylinder motor laying on and this is the valve cover so it's pointing out this way so basically if you have a rear end accident it's probably gonna be totaled but um, you probably don't want to drive this van around much just because it's such a show worthy automobile um, closes up very easily just kind of grab it and close it um, you know it's about it and maybe a slight tiny little nick right here and you know, just nothing major overall condition is outstanding outstanding and let's show you how nice and clean the rear trunk jam is look at that look at that that's perfect and uh, let's show how clean it is right here that thing is just perfect so one of a kind it really is one of a kind okay so uh let's go ahead uh, and i'll show you a nice cool feature solid so here for example just like I showed you what's going on in the back if you sit there and you want to lay flat well same thing is going on up front uh, I will have to move the seat forward a little bit for that to show so let's say I'm sitting up front and I want to lay back this is what you do you pull this up and then you can sleep here for a little cool right and one more time the only way you can lay it flat is you have to move it forward a little bit but uh, with me in a very comfortable position up front this seat still folds flat without the interference all right so uh, I think we uh, kind of covered it all up uh, all the interior features and cleanness and the detail uh, so what we're going to go now is uh, we're going to uh, uh, go ahead and preform uh, test drive which will consist out of four parts uh, drive off drive by brake check and um, uh, test drive on the street. Another important uh, thing that I kind of got to notice, this car is supercharged. It really is, it has a nice little blower right on top of the engine. As you can see here, it says full-time supercharged, all-wheel drive, electronically continuously variable transmission. So uh, yeah, supercharged van, right? Uh, pretty cool. So uh, let's go ahead and uh, perform a test drive. Well, because it is a cold day here in Florida and uh, I do not like to abuse equipment, we're going to have to warm this sucker up a little bit just because, you know, I'm foot heavy and, you know, it's not so good to uh, floor it on a cold engine. All right, starts very easily. It's fuel injected. Most of them are carbureted. This particular one is fuel injected. I hear the pump. And off we go. 
So uh, we're going to uh, go ahead and warm it up for a second. All right, so it's been about five to 10 minutes um, and uh, it's ready to roll. Alright, so uh, runs really, really good, brakes really good, and uh, actually tires do a very good job. You know, it was hard on the brakes, uh, and it didn't, um, it didn't like the tires. So, like most of them, um, very good braking. Uh, discs front, uh, back drums. Um, what else? Everything is in really, really good shape. Uh, motor runs really good. It's a CVT. Uh, we'll talk about it during a test drive. But uh, basically, uh, amazing car, show winner. All this car needs is a new proud owner. All right. So uh, let's go ahead and notice my uh, seating position. Um, very comfortable, not touching nothing. And uh, one more time, uh, the back rest is in position where the uh, rear seats can fold, but you can lower it down a notch more and super comfortable. Uh, let's go ahead and slide this forward. And uh, we open this up and if we slide this back, we get the uh, sky roof. So uh, interesting part about this, um, with this massive roof you don't get the drawbacks of a uh, sunroof when it's open because it doesn't make any noise when you drive down the street uh, i guess it has to do a lot with their dynamics but uh, this is what we're going to do is uh, uh we're going to go ahead and crank this motor up and it's uh pretty warm already so what we do is uh cranks up instantly buckle up Put it in drive and uh, off we go. The clutch engages and uh, now we are in the CVT mode. So it doesn't have any gears. Uh, let's go ahead and open up our sunroof. There we go. So this is how it drives. You just give it about 4,000 RPM and it goes. And it does it very well. In fact, the fastest mini truck that I've ever driven uh, and the most highway friendly is in fact a Subaru. Uh, Suzuki does well, uh, but the Subaru is the uh, best of them all on the highway. So uh, the supercharger light comes on and we're going. At about 4,000 RPM, and uh, the transmission sorts it out everything for yourself. And that's about 50 miles an hour. So, uh, and it drives very nicely. Very nicely. The operator is in the back enjoying some fresh air. Beautiful. And as you can see, the visibility out of this van is just amazing. One more time, it has 17,000 miles, so that makes it new. The radio works, I mean, all this works. All 
bad we're not gonna turn it on because it's kind of cold. Let's turn some radio. <laughs> Take a different route now. Let's go ahead and take it this way. So now we go, it's a state road. job that the tires do and the suspension is very good and the insulation in general um, don't forget that this was a very very inexpensive automobile back in the day for those who only could afford something like this and you know they did their best with what they had you know they make it look very pretty they put some features like a glass roof scenic you can ride around in Japan and enjoy the view the road here is really bad and the car does good you know on this bad road but, uh, you know, the concept of this was, you know, they did, they did the best with what they had. You know, with very little that they could afford to uh, invest in this key project of a van. It turned out to be very nice, beautiful, almost luxurious, you know, just the way it's stitched and everything. But the uh, uh, car runs really good. Um, in fact, when you uh, step on it from a get-go, the clutch engages, you know, if you step on it, it kind of engages um, firmly and quickly. And um, most of the time you leave the traffic in the back. That's, that's kind of surprising. So uh, uh, let's say there is a Dodge up front. We just give it a little bit more gas right now. Charging through. Easy. This is our little beautiful downtown here in uh, Apopka, Florida. Nice little town, but uh, we're going to go ahead and make it to that red light and turn around and go home. So on the slower speed now we're going to go ahead and open the roof. we can talk about uh, everything works radio works in fact the Kenwood speakers that you see in the back that is a factory option because when I took the covers off I discovered that the way it is installed it was only that the way it was installed that way was could only be installed at the factory all the bracketing that holds the speakers and all that that's a factory installation it does look like aftermarket but uh, then I realized that the Kenwood speakers matches the Kenwood head unit and I guess this is a fancy factory option so we're going to go ahead and make a u-turn right here oh, ah. and uh, off we go If I would buy this van, I would not drive it daily just because it's so clean and so nice. I don't really want to uh, kind of want to preserve it because it is one of a kind. You know, I've never seen something like this, something this nice and pretty and in this condition with this many miles. Uh, I've never seen it. It's so nice. And uh, I'll buy it as a toy and enjoy it on the weekend, just like the days like this when it's nice and cool and you can open all the glass out and you can open all the windows. It'd be 
optimized for a beach trips because it has four-wheel drive and edge and that actually can keep up in modern traffic and not only keep, keep up and pass on the speeds under 60 miles an hour. The uh, most that it can do, well not the most that it can do, the speed that, uh, let's say I'm stepping on it now, 5,000 RPM, there we go, and that's 60 miles an hour and we're still going. So I've driven it for a little bit and uh, the most comfortable highway speed for this van and I did drive it on the highway 60 miles an hour and you're going to be about 5000 rpm and you don't really want to be anymore. Uh, the perfect environment for it is town, cities and a state road like this. Uh, highway not so much uh, because you're going to be in the right lane and everybody's going to be passing you and, and looking at you. Uh, but um, that's the speed that this van did. Uh, what else? Uh, steering is not power assisted, so it's not a power steering, but it is a very light in operation, especially while it goes. Uh, I find it, for me, it is light uh, once uh, you're stationary and on the pavement, uh, but for some people it might not be, but it, does, I think it is actually very light. So, uh, uh, Look at it this way, less stuff to break, less stuff to maintain. Uh, radio actually sounds really good. Speakers are not shut. Uh, I did inspect that all the speakers, everything is nice. They're not worn, they're not shattered, they're, they don't produce any noise. Uh, so let's go ahead and make a right. exception that the radio since it's a Japanese radio and uh, it only goes up to 89.9 or actually 90 the reason for that is their TV uh, waves from 90 and above where we here in the United States would listen to the uh, um, to the um, radio let's say 105.9 106.7 in that range that's 
where their TV waves fly. So uh, this uh, Kenwood uh, radio, I'll just find one uh, the proper of the era, maybe with the AUX or uh, CD, but nice and classic. Uh, basically, the car is very new. Everything's perfect, uh, brand new, pretty much. Uh, all the stickers and uh, printing is excellent condition. Everything is very, very nice. And uh, this is going to conclude the uh, review. And um, very simple. All this car needs is a new proud owner.